our LGBT community, we talk about against discrimination, against injustice, against inequality, against LGBT bullying. However, all these words are all focusing on bullying, injustice, inequality, discrimination. It has the same negative energy, even it has the word against. Thank you for coming to We Paying the Bridge. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to hit subscribe, share, and like this video. Do you fight for things in your life? Possibly you're fighting for a better position at work or fighting for the things you believe that is right. Do you sometimes fight against things you do not want in your life? How about our LGBT community? Do you think that we fight against many things? I believe that we do. We do that all the time. We fight against discrimination. We fight against inequality. We fight against injustice. We fight against bullying towards the LGBT community. We fight for many, many, many things. Just about a few weeks ago, I met up with my gay friends. We chatted about a lot of things. However, it mostly focused on how unfair the things are towards the LGBT community. And the rules are still applying towards us until today, which is not fair and we're unhappy about that. However, we did not talk about the things we want. We just talk about the things we do not want. However, there's one thing I'd like to share with you is law of attraction. Whatever we think, we attract those things we're thinking about. For example, even on the things we fight against. Possibly you might say this in the past, I don't want to be late. Myself included, I said that many times in my life. What is a keyword that is focusing on? Late. Therefore, we attract more lateness. It shall be transformed into, I would like to be on time. Therefore, we focus on, we're going to be on time. How about this? And myself included, I said it a thousand times. Do not forget to do this. So what is the keyword we're focusing on? Forget. Therefore, we forget many things. It shall be transformed into, I remember to do this. Now back to our LGBT community. We talk about against discrimination, against injustice, against inequality, against LGBT bullying. However, all these words are all focusing on bullying, injustice, inequality, discrimination. It has the same negative energy. Even it has the word against. However, the word is still all those bad energy. I believe it should be transformed into we embrace love, we embrace equality, we embrace welcoming from all directions and acceptance of the whole LGBT community. And we shall also think of a day, all those rules and things we do not want be lifted off. You could be reading the news on your phone and you could be hearing a friend of you telling you, Hey, you know what? That rules have been taken away. You know what? The public is accepting us more and more and more. I believe that is actually what we should be thinking about. Have you seen this TV show called What Would You Do? There's this one episode about this lesbian waitress who was being bullied because she's lesbian and by this couple who refused to tip her. And most people in that restaurant stood up for her. And there's another video I've seen on YouTube about this gay couple. They are being bullied by another actor, which is part of the, the experiment. And most people stood up for the gay couple. Things are opening up more and more. We just need a bit more time to let it progress. I believe that asking for what we want is a lot more powerful than saying things we do not want. And I believe when we ask for what we want, we're going to attract more of those good things coming into our lives. Are you ready to welcome good things into your life? Now let us all start by asking for what we want from now on and to our lives and even to our LGBT community. 
Thank you for watching this video until the end. I appreciate your time and attention. Feel free to hit subscribe and most importantly, that bell button. And please share and like this video. And I love you and I'll see you in my next video.